Alright guys, so the game is pretty cool. Our dude can move around. And he can also shoot bullets. But as you can see, he's shooting them from the top of his head. Which isn't a really good feature because he doesn't have a gun taped to the top of his head. And the reason that this is actually happening is because what we're doing is we're spawning, spawning a bullet according to where this object is, where our dude is. And that's, you know, really handy because then he can move around wherever in his own little world and bullets will come right from him. But the only problem with that is, by default, whenever you spawn objects, which is the bullet, within another object, which is the dude, they come from the center of this object. And the center of the dude is the top of his head. Not very cool. So how can we fix that to say, okay, we want to spawn bullets wherever this dude is, but we don't want to use the top of his head for that origin point. I'll show you guys how to do that right now. So what we need to do is we need to right click the player in this objects panel, and that's right here, right next to the tile map. Of course, all your objects are in it. That's why they name it the object panel. So right click your player and choose edit animations. So once you click that, your animation windows pop up and you have all of these tools right here and the one that we actually want to work with is, is this. It looks like a little crosshair with a dot in the middle. It's actually the set origin and image point tools. So click that and once you do this window will pop up. And I don't know if you guys can see it on YouTube. <clears throat> oh my god, I think I just swallowed a freaking fly or something. Oh. But anyways, there's it looks like a crosshair, not my cursor, but it looks like a crosshair is on this dude's head right here. And oh, one second, you drink of water. Oh man, why did it suddenly get like incredibly dry in my house? Anyways, so what this point is, is every image or every object has a default origin point. And you know that this is the origin point because whenever the user like swivels around, this is the pivot point where they swivel around. Now by default, the spawn object, which is the bullet, it gets spawned at this origin point. So what we need to do is we actually need to build another point on this object and say, hey, now you're going to spawn from there. So move this to the side a little bit and click this plus button right here. And this is going to add another point to our object. So now you can see the cursor turns to little crosshairs and just go ahead and click this wherever you want the new point to be. So I'm going to put it right in front right there. So now we have two points for this object. We have an origin and we have an image point. And you actually want to take note of this. The origin number is zero. It's like the ID number basically. And the image point, the new one, which is where we want the bullets to come from, has the image point of one right there so just remember that the important one we want to work with is one and now we can close all the windows and do this in the event sheets double click this spawn bullet on layer one action which pretty much creates your bullet and now we can change it from image point zero which is the one on top of his head to one which is the one in front of his gun now when we click done you can see Whenever we click the mouse, it spawns a bullet, but it doesn't spawn at zero on top of his head. It spawns it at one. So let me go ahead and run that. And now you guys can see that the bullets are indeed coming right in front of his gun. And we actually might even want to move that back a little bit. But uh, yeah, that looks a lot better. So now just go find me some monsters and okay. So we have a couple issues, like first of all, if we shoot a monster with these bullets right now, they're not even going to kill them because we didn't tell them to do that yet. So let's go ahead and fix that issue in the next tutorial, and we're also going to be working with some of those cool explosions as well. So thank you guys for watching. In the meantime, if this tutorial isn't ready yet, or you feel like taking a break, go check out my website, buckysroom.org, shameless plug. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time.